Good evening, everybody. I hope everybody's doing well. This is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Just saying, saying, saying. Um, I hope everybody is doing fantabulous on this wonderful November 29th, 2021. Um, I am. I hope everybody else is. Um, don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. Um, I got it channeled in, so I decided to do this reading. Um, thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. Um, I truly appreciate it. We like, subscribe, share, um, unlike um, all the love and support to the channel. The channel, ooh, it's like, I think it's 9,100 right now. It's like 90. Or a little less than 9,100. A little less than 9,100. So, um, thanks, everybody. You guys are just the best. Um, if you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Tarot 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash app, no Venmo. Single mom with two kids. So, I appreciate it. Okay. So, um, I got a channel message in. Um, for those of you guys that didn't get the previous video and me saying it previous, um, I won't be doing the daily teas anymore at 9 a.m. Now, I might do them later in the day, possibly. Um, possibly. I will do them definitely on the days that, you know, I'm sitting here chillaxing, whatever. But, like, on days I'm real busy, I probably won't do them. I'm just, um, just letting y'all know. But anytime I'm, you know, sitting here chilling, meditating, uh, I'll do them. So I just want y'all know. That is a huge change to the channel, um, huge change. But because I know everybody is uh, so used to the daily tea being at nine o'clock for a couple months, but um, cycles have changed. So um, that's where we're at. But of course, I will do all the other readings and the weekly sign readings and all that too. So um, you know, that's that's a change, but it's not a huge change. So all right. So the. Um, channel i received was um things are about to start moving very very fast for some is what i heard things are about to start moving very very fast for some so you plug it in how it resonates if that resonates for you now to me that could go fast in a positive direction or fast in a negative direction because you know there's good and bad to everything the wheel of fortune turns it either turns in your favor or not in your favor so for in my perspective my intuition, hearing that message, it can either go really, really fast, positively for you, or really, really fast, negatively, not for you. However, that resonates. That's all I heard so far. So we'll get some Tara on it. Um, see if I can get intuitive messages, any more channel. And we'll see. We'll see how it rolls. So things are about to start moving really, really fast for some. Ace of Swords upright, death reverse. I feel guided to get another one. Ten of Pentacles upright. Okay, looking good. Oh, is that me? Hold on. Hold on, y'all. I want to make sure it's not my neighbor. Hold on one second. Somebody's car alarm's going off. A very, very, very angry phone call to a particular Libra is about to be made. Low vibrational Libra. Okay, you plug it in, how it resonates. Heard a very, um, a particular phone call, I heard specifically to a low vibrational Libra is about to be made soon. Um, so, it, you know, whoever this is, they're not high vibrational. They don't operate high vibrationally. Um, no honesty, truth, clarity, respect, morals, value, integrity, et cetera, et cetera. It's a low vibrational Libra. So they operate with lies, deception, 
he said, she said, gossip energy, um, pri I'm assuming a huge liar. They're very low vibrational. Deception, lies, slander, gossip, you know, the whole nine yards low vibrationally. But I heard a very, very angry phone calls about you made to a Libra soon, low vibrational Libra. So it could be you making this very, very um, angry phone call to this low vibrational Libra or someone you're connected to, however that resonates. Breakup energy for some, for some lawsuit coming. It's not a threat. It's the truth. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And for some warning, because they know the police is on them. Human trafficking. Oh, whoa. Oh my God. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> I mean, you just cannot make this crap up, even if you wanted to. Somebody is about to get their human trap. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> their human trafficking shindig busted. Just for real, for real. Um, I mean, I'm serious. And I think one of you guys is about to bust it. And I'm being for real, for real about that too. I'm serious. Okay, so very angry phone call, low vibrational Libra. Some breakup energy. Some um, alert that the police are on, on, on this low vibrational Libra. And this person and others, I'm presuming, because of some kind of human trafficking uh, sting or operation or what have you, possibly regarding a warehouse, because I was pulling that in a Libra's reading. And what was the other one? And another one, oh, a lawsuit, lawsuit, lawsuit was the other one, lawsuit. And another phone call regarding theft. This Libra has stole from someone. And another phone call regarding theft, this Libra has stole from someone. Dear God, there's a lot going on. So, you know, I'm pulling in this low vibrational Libra. But, you know, for some Libras, it could be one of these things that they're about to get the angry phone call from. For some, it could be two plus. For some, I feel you are the one making the phone call to the low vibrational Libra. However, this resonates. Um, and, and at least one person making the, low, um, the phone call to the low, vibra low vibrational Libra is low vibrational too because they're partnered with them with some kind of human trafficking co-op, sting, uh, not a sting, human trafficking um, operation. How that resonates. So for some it's breakup energy. For some it is um, this piss because this Libra stole from someone. That could be you they stole from or someone else. Uh, for some it's warning because the, they know the um, this person calling this low vibrational Libra knows the police is on their ass about this human trafficking crap. And for some, it is, um, what was the other one? Um, lawsuit energy. And I heard it wasn't a threat. It's the truth. So whoever is calling about the lawsuit energy to the low vibrational Libra, they're high vibrational, um, if that's you. They're high vibrational. Ace of Swords is the truth. I'm just saying, the daggum truth. You can, I mean, you can't, uh, I'm, it's not a threat, it's a promise kind of energy. It's exactly what the crap I'm feeling. So that could be cycles changing fast for this low vibrational Libra, if whether they resonate with one of these situations or two plus, how that resonates, and cycles changing fast for you making the phone call. I mean, these are heavy phone calls. This Libra stole from either you or somebody you're connected to. Breakup energy, that's heavy. Stealing energy is heavy. Alert, alert, the police are on us because of our human trafficking craziness. That's super heavy. And law, um, what was the other one? There was something else. Lawsuit, but I think I already said that one. There was a fourth one. You plug it in, how it resonates. That's so heavy. Low vibrational Libra. Masculine or feminine Libra that could have Libra in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, moon, and hammer, Jupiter. Oh my goodness. The police may intercept this phone call. Possibly. These people have been using burner phones, but one of these people might mess up soon. Oh my God, what? Oh my God. Heard the police might intercept this phone call. So the um, phone call with the human, human trafficking is what I'm presuming. Or it might be another phone call, but I think it goes with the human trafficking one because 
I heard the police were on to them with the human trafficking. That's why I think that, but you plug in and how it resonates. But I heard the police are probably going to intercept the phone call, I think, with the human trafficking, or it could be another phone call, but I strongly feel it is. Um, because these people have been using burner phones, I think, for the human, human trafficking operation. I mean, they're obviously intelligent and they know to use burner phones, but I heard one of these people, so whether it's you about to call into this Libra or the Libra, is about to mess up and use their real phone they display out to the world or one of them is what I'm presuming. So the phone call is probably going to be intercepted by the police. Oh my God, mighty. Oh my God. Oh. Oh. Many more series of chain of events are going to occur with this human trafficking operation. These people think they're going to be able to break it up before the police really get in there, but it's not going to happen. Oh my God. Wow. I heard many more series. Of, we were pulling this human trafficking in so strong. So I heard many more series of chain of events are going to happen with the human trafficking situation. Please know about it. They're on them. They're tracking them. But I think the people that have the human trafficking operation watch my videos. And I strongly feel they're Secret 7 connected. I didn't hear that, but I strongly feel they are. I'm just being for real. For real. Those people are so shysty. Um, but um, I heard many more series of chamber events are going to occur with the um, human trafficking operation. They're trying to break it down right now is what it sounds like. They're trying to break it down because they know the police are on them. Because I think they know the police watch my videos and they watch my videos. So they're trying to dismantle it, break it down, act like it never happened. But I heard basically police already know and it's it's definitely not going to occur that way. Definitely not. Okay, I heard it's definitely not going to occur that way. It's definitely not. So yeah, I think the police watch my videos too. <laughs> Hold on a second. Okay. He was sitting on my tarot cards, but it was like he was sitting. I'm not gonna. I'm not trying not to be crass, but it sounded like he was sitting on a vibrator. He wasn't. He wasn't. But it was some kind of electronic buzzing device. Is sound. I don't still can't. I don't know what the crap he was sitting on. All I see is a bunch of tarot cards, but it's not buzzing no more. <laughs> Just saying. Okay, we're back. Someone's health is about to drastically improve in many ways. A particular law enforcement person and a feminine energy. And children. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. Well, this is, a, this is I mean, it's a mix of yin and yang. You have to plug the messages in that resonate. Leave the rest, y'all know that, but... Um, so a particular law enforcement official, law enforcement officials health is about to improve drastically. A fifth energy's health is about to improve drastically and child or children's health are about to improve drastically. Um, so you plug that in, how that resonates. You could be the law enforcement official, the feminine energy or the child or children. However, that plugs in your life. If that does resonate, they could possibly be a family or it could not be. It could just be a separate law enforcement official separate feminine energy, separate child or children, or a fit energy with child or children, or a law enforcement official with child and children. That's how I'm feeling it could go, how that resonates. But I heard their health is about to improve drastically. So I think mental health, physical health, both, like it's about to really, really improve drastically, um, which is very positive, very, very, very positive. A particular feminine energy is going to get high honor after this human trafficking bust. She should have got high on her for many things in the past, and she was left out in the cold. This particular law enforcement official is about to make sure it happens. Holy shit. Okay. Well, you plug in how it resonates. So, her particular law enforcement official um, is about to bust this human trafficking biatch. they just about to blow it out of hell, basically. Blow it out of hell! That's what I feel. Um, but... 
I heard um, there was a Fib Energy that should have got credit or award or recognition for several things, it sounds like, in her career or life or et cetera, et cetera, in the past. But she didn't get um, award or recognition or what have you, some kind of um, high honor S type energy in the past. But I heard this law enforcement official, whether, whether it's a masculine or feminine, and you could be this law enforcement official, you have to plug yourself in where you fit um or the fem energy or what have you but i heard the law enforcement official is going to make sure this fem energy that basically got left out in the cold recognition wise or monetarily maybe or both is make sure make sure they get high honor for this um because they know they were left out in the cold so many times in the past um very nightly of you uh masculine or fem officer whoever you are just saying um I feel you are like a supervisor of the police. I mean, I don't know how to say that. Hell, manager, boss, CEO, supervisor um, of the police, or maybe you are chief of police. Hell, I don't know. Or you're an investigator or something. Um, but I don't, I think you're over people to organize this thing or bust or whatever the hell you call busting up some human trafficking Shouldn't it? Ace of Swords upright, death reverse, Ten of Pentacles upright. A position of high authority, Libra, high vibrational, is about to be very, 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 very happy when this human trafficking bus is made very, very public. Very happy. Very, very, very high position of high authority. Libra and a Aquarius medical professional. Very, very, very high medical professional. Okay, so you put, okay, so we've got, okay, so very, 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 very high position of high authority. Libra, masculine or femme. And a uh, very, very high medical professional Aquarius. So I'm thinking like a doctor or a, I'm thinking a doctor, medical doctor, um, or uh, yeah, I'm thinking medical doctor or psychologist or psychiatrist or um, something like that. Um, very, very high. Um, what's the name for the D.O.? Um, you know, D.O., they're called D.O.'s, Doctor of something. Um, I was thinking them too, M.D. and D.O., but I don't know how to say that, them. Or a psychologist or a psychiatrist. That's what I'm feeling, energy I'm feeling, very, very high medical, um, in the um, medical side. So, anyways, um, I heard they're going to be very happy too. So, these two people are going to be very, very happy. It could be masculine or femme, very, very high. Doctor, MD, DO, uh, psychiatrist, psychologist, um, what have you, energy, and the um, very, very high position, high authority, Libra, masculine or femme, um, whatever they are. Now, I have no clue with this. I think politician, I think politician, I think um, maybe like a Fortune 500 CEO or a judge or a... Um, or a like a Trump energy, but not Trump, not Trump, but like a Trump energy that owns like billions and billions and billions of dollars of property, like Rothschild energy or something like that. I mean, very, very high. Um, how that resonates? Like socialite energy or very, very high in their community. I just heard very, very high position of authority. But I think we're very happy. It's a Libra and a... Um, Aquarius, very, very high in their community or world or country or what have you. Um, that's awesome. Ace of Swords upright, death reverse, Ten of Pentacles upright. This bust is going to be so public.
These people have already lost money and they're about to lose a hell of a lot more. Lives are about to be rescued, even though they're trying to clean it up now. Oh my God. I heard, uh, wow, my God. So I heard um, lives are about to be um, rescued, even though they're trying to clean it up now. So they're trying to clean up the human trafficking ring. They know the police know, the community knows. They're trying to clean it up in their community. Um, I strongly feel, at least for one of these situations, is that there's a particular warehouse involved, because I was pulling that in in Libras. Um, but you plug it in where, however it resonates. But they're trying to clean it up now because they know their ass has been exposed or being exposed. Um, I'm serious. And I think these people watch my videos and they know the police watch my videos. And I'm serious about I'm serious. I didn't hear that, but that's just my intuition, you know. Why are they busting it up? Just saying. Um, but anyways, I heard um, it's going to go so, so, so public and lives are going to be saved. So they're still doing it. It just doesn't sound like it's as heavy as they used to or doing it, probably. Um, and the operation slowed down immensely. Um, Ace of Truth, uh, sorry, Ace of Swords Upright, the truth coming out about the, um, the human trafficking warehouse or human trafficking um, operation in your country or town or state or area. Um, or if this is you that does this human trafficking ring, truth that you're about to call this low vibrational Libra and basically warning, 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 we're being called. Maybe on a burner phone, maybe not. Death reversed. Has not ended? This is the human trafficking. It hasn't ended. Um, our lives are going to be saved. And thank God for that. Ten of Pentacles upright. These people had made so much money on this. But it's about to completely ruin their plans. Straight to prison. Oh my God, this is so sick. Okay, I heard these people made tons of money on this, but it's about to ruin their plans straight to prison. So, Ten of Pentacles Upright, that's the biggest money card in the freaking throw, man. That's money, money, money. That's, um, it could be millionaire status or whatever Ten of Pentacles Upright is to you, is what I'm saying. It could be millionaire status for some. For some, it could just be whatever Ten of Pentacles Upright is to you, is what I'm saying. Everybody looks at money differently and everybody comes from different background some people come from nothing so like fifty thousand dollars is a lot of money to them some people are born into money so five million dollars ain't nothing to them so whatever ten of pentacles upright is to you but i heard basically um these people made a ton of money off these poor people i feel children and adults but it's about to come to an end ten of pentacles are ours and it should Money distributed throughout the community and to one particular deserving person. And wrong started to make right. Drug homes evicted. People living in homes rent free evicted. Lots of changes coming. Balance is about to be restored to the person's property. It really is. Oh my God. So you plug it in where it resonates. This is a good one. So her balance is about to, this busting of this human trafficking operation is huge. It's huge in one particular town or city or urbanized area or um, not urbanized rural area or what have you. Um, it's huge. It involves a warehouse. I feel for a lot of these. I'll tell you that. Um, but um it also involves a bunch of homes apparently they're stolen from one particular person i heard some of these people were living these homes rent free some they're drug homes but they're not they're homes of somebody that they don't even know they're their homes is what it sounds like they most certainly do not but balance is going to be restored soon this person deserves it 
Okay, I heard the balance is going to be restored soon. This person deserves it. So it sounds like somebody owns a bunch of homes, but they don't know they do. It sounds like somebody stole Ten of Pentacles from somebody in the past, basically, and went and bunch, bought a bunch of homes, but they put a bunch of drug addicts in them and people that don't pay rent. So they paid all these homes off with this person's stolen money and let people live rent free and shoot up drugs or snort up drugs or do what the hell they do in these homes rent free. It's kind of like the um, projects except no um, rules. Um, and I do not disrespect the projects. I don't at all. I used to live in a trailer with my um, ex coworker at 18. Um, I don't disrespect projects or trailer life or anything like that. Um, not at all. But I do disrespect somebody that steals somebody's money and then goes and buys homes and let people live in them rent free when this other person just that's their money. That I have a problem with. Just saying. Um, that's crazy. But I heard after all this crap goes down, all this human trafficking crap goes down, there's one particular law enforcement official ahead of this, and I think it's you, just saying, uh, for one of you guys. Um you're going to help create balance in the universe um, and help get this person back their property. And it's many properties. It's many freaking properties. Um, they don't even have a, I heard they most certainly don't even have a clue that they're theirs because they were never notified they were theirs. But I heard you're going to start creating balance in the universe in a very positive way because it sounds like this person is, these, this person deserves to have their property back. Um, they deserve to be able to revamp remodel the properties, sell the properties, or do it, or, you know, do whatever they want to do with the properties. It's their, their properties, you know? So you plug it in how it resonates. Let me see if I hear anything else. A particular healthcare facilities workplace is about to really go up in a very positive way. Business. Oh, what is going on? Hold on, y'all. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. My battery's low. Let me see if I can finish the channeling. Business and positivity and productivity. Okay. Wow, that's beautiful. Okay, I gotta plug it in. It's gonna die. Hold on a second. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Whoa, it's so bright now. Okay. So I heard a particular healthcare facilities, um, positivity and productivity and business is about to go up in a very positive way. So productivity, positivity, and business is a particular healthcare facility. So I don't, I mean, that could be a hospital. That could be a skilled nursing facility slash long-term care. That could be re strictly real rehabilitation. It could be a mixture of both. It could be assisted living. It could be any kind of healthcare facility. However, that resonates. It could be um, outpatient. Well, yeah, it could be outpatient. Um, it could be um, some kind of productivity, positivity, and business coming in. Um, but it sounds like it's because of the people that work there. That's um, about to. It's about to. Sounds like create some kind of huge positive drive in there. Um, it's, I mean, obviously, it's the people inside the facility and the place that make it that way. But suppose it sounds like increase some kind of positive surge in some shape, form, or fashion um, is what it sounds like. And that could go with this, too, because truth coming out about positivity, productivity, and business driving in. Business still going. In fact, it's about to boom. With because of productivity and positivity with the healthcare workers and healthcare staff that work there and the people that accommodate and utilize the services, whether it's outpatient, inpatient, or etc. Um, and it's about to cause the business to go up. Business going up, boom. Maybe some people thought this facility was going to close. I'm thinking for some, they thought the facility was going to close or it was on or doing poorly or what have you, but it's about to surprise the community is what I'm thinking. In a very positive way, 
Very wonderful people that work there. Okay, I heard it in a very positive way. Very wonderful people that work there. So, yeah, this facility is about to um, uh, surprise the people in the community. It's about to increase productivity, positivity, and business. And it's going to surprise the community. So it's going to drive in business, morale, positivity. And that could be the tenant pitfalls with the death reverse. I think the community didn't expect much out of the facility, whatever it is in your life, in your community, etc. But it's about to drive in the business, baby. Ten pitfalls upright. But it's because of the people that work in there that's about to drive the business in there. Which is beautiful. All right. We'll do one more. Spare messages you have for Someone watches these readings driving. Loves your voice. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, well, thank you. If that resonates for you. <laughs> I heard someone watches these readings driving. Ooh, and they love your voice. Sound of your voice. Well, I don't sound like a sex work operator. Um, so... I, I, I know I don't sound like that, so I, I, I don't, you yeah, obviously like the funky donkey sound, but thanks, I appreciate it, just saying. Um, I'm assuming you're talking about me, but it might be another reader. Um, I heard they watch these readings, so I think it's these readings, but, you know, if you're another reader and that resonates with you, then you take the message, however that resonates, but somebody watches um, these readings driving and they like the sound of your voice is what I heard. So, well, it could be your voice. It could be your voice reader. It could be your voice reader. If that resonates, somebody drives and listens to your readings as they're driving. I listen to y'all's readings when I'm driving. Oh, well, and I'm sitting and I'm in the bathroom and I'm chilling and I'm scrub a dubbing. I mean, I just saying. So, um, somebody does when they're driving, but your voice is very significant to them in some shape, form, or fashion. If that resonates with you. It could be for you. It could be for me. I feel it could be for any reader. Um, however that plugs in. King of Swords Reverse. Knight of Cups Reverse. Someone's about, a feminine energy is about to get her feminine energy back. She was strictly in masculine energy for a while. Her energy is about to be balanced out in a huge way. One particular person is about to help this in a huge way. They really want to. Oh, shit. Wow. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, whoever this is for, you've been strictly in your masculine energy. Um, which there's nothing wrong with being strictly in your masculine energy. Hell, I, I'm strictly in my masculine energy like 98% of my life. I'm just saying. Um, when you're a single parent, masculine or feminine, you tend to be in sing, uh, masculine energy. And I'm just, I'm being serious. You, That is tr the truth, usually. Now, some people don't ever, you know, they can be a single parent and strictly always fem energy. But in my experience, I've noticed I have moved over to masculine energy most of my single parent time. And um, because... Um, that's just been, I mean, you can be in masculine energy and not be crazy is what I'm saying. I mean, it's just, you know, everybody's got masculine and energy. It's just more taking charge, leadership, get her done energy. Um, go, 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 go. Um, besides chilling and loving, you know, um, and there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. But um, I heard, oh, we, dude. I heard a um, fem energy. So this resonates with you. Um, you've been in your masculine energy. So I think you might be a single parent or you just might be just in your fem, uh, your masculine energy, how that resonates um, primarily. You don't have to have kids, just saying. Um, but I heard you're about to balance out your masculine energy with your fem energy. So, and it's about to be more balanced in you. So your fem energy is about to kind of not take over, but come in a little bit 
I think for some you might start um well I'm gonna tell you, uh, I was gonna tell you what I think it is but this isn't a sex reading <laughs> maybe I'll keep it PG just saying um, I do have ideas of what it could be <laughs> just saying I'll keep that to myself King of Swords reverse Knight of Cups reverse The truth is coming out about a very, very, very cold X. Very, very, very cold X. It's very clear now. They're in it strictly for the money. Very clear. Many people are waking up and realizing this now. It's about to affect this person in the community soon in a negative way. They're not going to like it. Masculine energy. Oh my God. Whoa. So you plug it in how it resonates. Yes. So masculine energy is in it just for the money. It's an ex. It could be ex of yours or somebody you're connected to, but they're in something just for the money. They're in something for the money. So it's, what are they in for the money? It's set their might be custody battles for some it might be custody battles or they might be trying to get back with you for the money that's how i feel it could go either custody battle energy or trying to get back with you for the money honey because they know you're doing well now. however that resonates i feel it could go both ways but it's a masculine energy x so you could be masculine or femme but your ex if this resonates with you is a masculine energy or they're very very cold they're very cold and like very detached and very cold and very probably calculating and manipulative and they probably um poke the bear or antagonize um and very cold doing it but it's um but i heard it was strictly about money so it's either trying to some kind of custody battle energy for money or it is trying to come back and get back with you because you're doing well now i feel like i go both ways with that but they're very cold and detached so people in the community are realizing that obviously it's just for money whether it resonates in one of those aspects or both um because they are cold and detached there's no emotions there there's no emotions there's king of swords reverse so i feel they've lied to you or they've lied to the community i didn't hear that part but that's my deductive reason and logic they've either lied to the community or they lied to you or both they're, this is the cold and detached energy king of cups reversed but they're an ex of yours if this resonates with you it, it's an ex of yours uh, you can be masculine or femme but it's a masculine ex just saying just saying gemini energy capricorn energy virgo energy okay i heard gemini energy capricorn energy virgo energy so these masculine X's, if this resonates with you or somebody you're connected to, it could be a Capricorn, a Virgo, or a Gemini. They could have Capricorn, Gemini, or Virgo in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Node, Midheaven, or Jupiter charge. You plug it in how it resonates. Um, how it resonates. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. Oh. A Torn is about to get a very, 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 very negative shock of their life. Some employment, some relationship, some police. Some they are the police. Whoa. Oh, my God. Okay, so you're plugging out resonates. My God, so juicy. So I heard a Torn is about to get a negative shock of their life. This could be you torn or somebody you're connected to that could have force in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or thumb, mid or Jupiter. But whatever negative shock of the life it is for you, for some it's in your prof uh, professional um, realm, for some it's in your personal realm, for some it's the police, and for some you are the police. So you plug it in, however that resonates. For some, I feel it could be that dirty cop torn for number four. Um, but for some, with the being the police, I think the Taurus is the police about to get the negative shock upon them i hope they don't get hurt if this resonates like i hope they don't get shot or some crazy crap let me see if i hear anything else
Gunshots heard soon and a very significant stabbing soon. And a house about to have to be gone through, but very unstable structure. There will be injuries in this unstable structure house. Oh my God. Oh, jeez. So I feel that might be for the police energy. That's what I was trying to channel in. But you plug it in how it resonates. Either that's for the police. I feel for a lot of you guys, it's the police energy. I was trying to channel in how the police was going to get the negative shock of their life. So for some of the police, like number three energy, um, not the dirty. I don't feel number four. You are the police dirty cop. Um, that's, I feel you're about to get a negative shock dirty cop, just saying. But number three, you, I don't feel your light side police, and you're about to get some kind of negative shock. Um, or if you're not the police, you could, however this resonates for you is what I'm saying. But I heard stabbing, some kind of stabbing incident soon. So hope a police officer don't get stabbed. Gunshots heard soon, so good God. I'm, I feel that's probably police. I hope that's not civilians, but I hope that I hope that's not police either. But that'd be more likely police than civilians. But you plug it in how it resonates, and some kind of unstable structure. Somebody's gonna have to go in, whether it's police or somebody else. Um, but it's it would have to be so unstable. There's gonna be injuries. So that could be um, maybe that's a. Well, I didn't hear fire. I didn't hear fire. I think it's probably a really old home or a really old business or a really old warehouse that maybe they're trafficking, human trafficking people out of. But some kind of very, very, very unstable structure. I heard there's going to be injuries. So somebody's about to get injured. I don't know if it's a cut. I don't know if it's a leg about to come off. I don't know if, you know, a broken arm. I mean, some kind of injuries. How that resonates? My God. Someone is in love with somebody's mind. Now. Oh my God. Heard someone is in love with somebody's mind now. So maybe you like their body or you just, all you saw is their body in the past. Or you just thought they were, looked like a piece of crap, but they've got a sharp mind. How would that resonate? So I feel you either thought they were a piece of eye candy and ooh baby, look at them but you didn't think anything about their mind or their brains or what they analytically and logically brought to the table, or they're nothing to look at and you just completely dismissed them, but they're very, very analytical and smart and intelligent now and you're realizing that. How oh, that resonates, just saying. All right, you guys, 43 minutes, just saying. I'm getting off here, love you guys, namaste.